What was the show that changed your life? To, I think 1983, uh, Phoenix Park dubbed on YouTube. Yeah, that was the one that changed it. Changed it from it as a as a fan and changed it in terms of what business I wanted to work in. Yes. What artist do you think will break in the next year? Well, what popped to mind was Kid Leroy. He was on one of our shows a couple of, about a month or two ago. And I'm just like, wow, this kid's going to be huge, probably the next Bieber. And maybe he already is broke and I'm behind on it, but I just, uh, I do think that you're going to be hearing a lot about that, that, that artist, the kid, Leroy. What's the best or worst piece of career-related advice you've received? Always use we. I never thought about it until I was told that in my 20s by Chuck Dolan. And now I, I try to practice it and I listen out for it. So always use we, not I. What do you expect the role of live streaming to be going forward? I think clearly live streaming is important uh, and I think COVID has sped up it's important and it's important I think because you know people love live music and, and you don't always have I think the time the location you know the parking fees to go see a band and I think if there's something that's really exciting about this period is that you know I think live music live streaming will have reinvigorated the experience and I think as artists start to really you know be creative on what it can be it doesn't have to just be someone doing their set on a stage somewhere they can do that and it's great but i think if what i'm seeing and the artists we're working with it's almost evolving into a new form of, of music video that that's live which is really really cool so i think it's here to stay and i think it becomes a valid piece of the music landscape obviously nothing will ever replace a physical show and nor should it but I think the idea that like more fans can experience live music globally via their devices and now the infrastructure is set up for everybody to be able to get it, to be able to pay, to be able to tip, uh, to buy merchandise. So it's a new reality. And, and I think, you know, when, it, when you and I are talking this time next year or the year after that, you're just going to see it build and build and build. And I think it could be good for everybody.